Hey there, I'm back again from Digital Data. Uh, as promised in my last video, uh, I am doing a ha how to read and write hexadecimal now. I've moved on from binary. I figured I've done too many videos on that. And, well, if you don't like, if you still can't understand it, uh, I'm sure you can find online tutorials that explain it better. Uh, th there's a few more popping up around the website, uh, the web, so... But main main purpose of me doing doing all these random videos of how to read and write these different languages is because uh, at the time when I was learning it, I really couldn't find a lot of help learning it, so I sort of had to teach myself. Kind of difficult to do that, especially when you don't know what you're doing. But now, since I know what I'm doing, I'm teaching you all. Uh, sorry, I have a little glitch on my board. I'm going to fix it, and then I'm going to explain it. Alright, so, anyways, continuing on. <coughs> uh, first off, I'm going to explain the list over here. Uh, what this list is, is, just like in binary, you have your ASCII chart. Uh, again, we're going to be using the ASCII chart, but I'm not going to write it down. I'm assuming you guys are all a bunch of educated, uh, educated adults or children or kids or teenagers, whoever's watching this video. Uh, I'm assuming you know how to use Google. You can just type in ASCII, A-S-C-I-I and you'll find a pretty lovely chart on there. Anyways, I have you starting up here. 1 is equal to 1, 2 is equal to 2, 3 is 3, 4 is 4, 5 is 5, 6 is 6, and so on up to 9. Now, why 9? Because t up here I start back at 10, but 10 is equal to A. Well, the reason being is because since we're using hex, we have our list here. And like in binary, binary is considered a base of 2. So what what we did in binary was we started at 1 and we continuously multiplied it by 2. It was, but now that would go 1, 2, 4, 6, or 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. Now that was really long. What I love about hex is you only got four numbers to really deal with. Uh, because it's a base of 16. Hex is a base of 16. And that's why we go up to here. Because we, in hex, sorry, simple way of putting it in hex you can use pretty much up to 15 characters 1 to 9 a to f in binary you can only use two zeros and ones and that's why we consider this base of 16 <coughs> anyways so we got 10 is equal to a because there is no 10 on this board or on this uh chart same with 11 12 13 14 15 but that's why we don't put 16 is equal to G, because we have 16 up here. Okay, so if you, hopefully you understood what I said there. That was a little confusing. Um, but anyways, if you have any problems, just message me. So say, for example, I wanted to convert the lowercase a. Going very simple here, just to show you guys how hex works. A. Now... Again, hopefully you opened up an ASCII chart. Lowercase a, whoa, my marker's running out. Lowercase a is equal to 97, if I'm not mistaken, down below. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that number, 97, forget about, forget about a right now, you're going to take 97, you're going to go up to here, 4096. How many times does 4096 go into 97? Well, it doesn't go in at all, so you can either put a zero or you can leave it blank. Personally, I like to leave it blank because in hex we don't keep the zeros. So I'm just going to leave it blank. <coughs> there we go. That looks much better. Anyways, so it doesn't go in. I'm going to move down to 256 now. How many times does 256 go into 97? Again, it doesn't go in. So I'm going to leave a blank there. Or a little x. Now, now we're moving on to 16. 16 does go into 97. How many times does 16 go into 97 here? Let me just check that. I don't have a calculator on me, so I need to use my computer here. 97 divided by 16. We got a remainder of 6.0625. So we're going to put a 6 here. Because since 6 is equal to 6, we're going to use 6. So we put a 6 there. But now we have to find the remainder. So, or the difference, if you will. So what is 16 times 6? Uh, 
16 times by 6, that's 96. So, we're going to go 97, down below here. Oh, shit, talking mushrooms, there we go. 97 minus 96. Obviously, that is a remainder of 1 down below. Hopefully, you can see that. If not, I'm telling you it's a remainder of 1. So now you're going to move back here, and you're going to look here. How many times does 1 go into 1? It goes in once. Since 1 is equal to 1, you're going to put a 1 there. And that's pretty much your, your number in the hex. Lowercase a is equal to 61. Not in ASCII. Remember that. Lower a is equal to 61 in hex. In ASCII, it's uh, 97. But that's pretty much how you do hex. Uh, it's a lot simpler. It, it's a lot easier on the eyes, and it's a lot easier to read. And that's uh, that's I think that's sort of why they created hex a decimal uh, in the case of binary, because binary on computers it does take up a lot of space since you have like nine, ten, eleven characters in binary, just uh, ex like symbolizing one letter. 97 is like, or yeah, 97, which is equal to lowercase a, it's like 00111010, something like that. But uh, in hex, a is only equal to 61. How much easier is that to read? Uh, but anyways, I think that's why they substituted hex instead of binary. I could be wrong. Again, that's my opinion. Anyways, that's a simple way of doing hex. Of course, you're going to have a a lot more d difficult combinations. Let's say you want to spell out spell out the word cat or dog or fence. I don't know, but there's how you do it. Hope you learned. If not, re post a reply. If I get enough replies, I'll redo the video in more detail. I don't know how much further I can get into detail, but anyways, you YouTubers, you guys have a good night.